Have you noticed how a paper plane slows down as it glides through the air? Or have you noticed how your shoes grip the floor when you walk, but when it is wet, you suddenly start to slip? All of these examples have something special in common. They are all examples of contact forces. These are the forces that only happen when two objects actually touch each other. In this video, we are going to explore the different types of contact forces and how they affect the motion of things around us. Ugh, amazing! This is Surbass of Surbass TV, and I will be your guide in exploring the world of science. Are you ready to learn? If you find this video helpful, please do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Do not forget to like, share, and comment. Hashtag Agamazing. Let's go! Applied force is a force that is exerted on an object by a person or another object through direct contact. Whenever you push or pull an object, you are applying force. Think of opening a door, pushing a cart, or kicking a ball. Another example is when you slide the curtain. You are applying force to make it move along the rod. That is applied force. It makes objects move when you act on them directly. Frictional force is a contact force that receives or opposes motion. It acts parallel to the surface and always in the opposite direction of the movement. It is the reason why things don't slide forever once you stop pushing them. When you ride a bike, friction between the tires and the road helps you move forward and slows you down when you stop pedaling. When you walk or run, friction between your shoes and the ground prevents you from slipping. Imagine walking on a slippery floor. Without friction, your shoes would not grip and you'd slide everywhere. Normal force is the force a solid surface exerts on an object resting upon it. It always acts perpendicular or at a right angle to the surface. It is what keeps object from falling through the ground. When you sit on a chair, your body pushes down and the chair pushes back up with an equal force. That upward push is the normal force keeping you balanced and supported. Tension force is the falling force transmitted through a rope, string, or chain when it is stretched by objects attached to it. It always acts along the length of the rope. You can feel this force when you pull a bucket of water using a rope. Another example is playing tag of war with friends, feeling the rope stretch as both sides pull. The tighter the rope gets, the stronger the tension you feel. Air resistance, also called drag force, is a type of friction that acts on objects moving through air. It pushes against motion and becomes stronger as the object moves faster. You can feel it when you stick your hand out of a moving car. For instance, a parachute slows someone down as they fall, resisting the pull of gravity. Another example is when leaves float slowly to the ground instead of dropping straight down. That's air resistance at work. Air resistance help balance motion by pushing back against moving objects, making high-speed movements more controlled. Spring force is the force exerted by a stretch or compressed spring that tries to return to its original shape. You experience this force when you are playing a slinky. Think of stretching a rubber band between your fingers. It pulls back when released. Another example is a pogo stick bouncing. The compressed spring pushes the rider upward and when released, the spring returns to its original form, restoring balance. 
Buoyant force is the upward force that a fluid, such as water or air, exerts on an object that is partially or completely submerged in it. It is the reason why some objects float while others sink. When you drop a plastic ball in water, it floats. Another example is playing a rubber duck gently in a tub. It stays on the surface because the buoyant force pushes it upward. To sum it up, applied force makes object move through direct contact. Frictional force resists motion between surfaces. Normal force support object resting on surfaces. Tension force pulls through ropes or strings. Air resistance or drag force slow objects moving through air. Spring force restores stretch or compress objects. Buoyant force pushes upward in fluids. Contact forces are all around us. From pushing, pulling, sliding, or even floating, they help us understand how motion and balance work in our everyday world. This is Sir Bass of Sir Bass TV saying, Keep asking, keep exploring, and stay amazing. See you in the next lesson.